Hey, cutie. I got your hot cocoa. Of course. I thought I'd surprise you with a little treat at the end of your first work week of the year. <laughs> or one of the firsts, right? <laughs> I don't know. My mind is always so scrambled after the holidays. Um, do you mind if I join you? <laughs> Yay! Oh, snuggle time! Finally! Come here! Mm. Oh, my good boy. How are you doing? I feel like I haven't spoken with you in forever. Good, sure sounds convincing. Nothing, nothing. Just seem a little down in the dumps, you know? <laughs> Didn't you get what you wanted from Santa? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. That's not it. I'll stop teasing you. <laughs> Even though you know how much I love to tease you, sweetie. Oh my god, look at you. You're so damn cute. Your face is so red. Hey, <laughs> no, don't cover it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Please. Oh my, wow. Oh, look at that. That's just not right. I mean, there's just no way. <laughs> I mean, it's... It just can't be legal to be that adorable. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's just unethical, really. You're so cute, it hurts. Oh, I can't even think straight. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Exactly what I was looking for. That adorable laugh of yours. Can I hold you? Here, just put your head on my chest. It'll feel good, I swear. <sighs> Thank you, baby. <sighs> my favorite cuddles in the whole wide world. <sighs> You're so soft. <laughs> I love it. It feels so good to hug you just to be with you. But now that we've addressed your incredible body and its incredible cuddles, do you want to talk now? Yes, I'm still on that. I worry about you, okay? Sometimes you can, I don't know, spiral or beat yourself up. I need to check that. It's my job that I've assigned myself. I'm the referee in those little mental battles you get into with yourself. I'm, I'm calling a flag on the play, or... Um, or a strike or something? <laughs> I'm calling an emergency meeting, damn it. We're ejecting that little imposter mucking around in your head, making you all sad. Th yes, I did. Cringe culture is dead. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just trying to loosen your walls. Of course. If you really don't want to, we can move on, but um, I'd be really grateful if you opened up a bit. You're scared? Scared of what? What are you scared of this next couple of months? Oh, you're afraid 
afraid of getting really sad again, right? What makes you think you're going to be depressed? You've been doing wonderful lately. You're taking care of things and being kind to yourself. I'm really proud. Mm. Oh, yeah. The post-holiday blues. <laughs> I get that. Paired with, you know, seasonal depression and cruddy weather and dizzy days. It can make you feel really hopeless and worried for the future. I think I can understand that. Oh honey, I know you don't want to get bad again. I'm so sorry that this is bugging you. That's a terrible thing to have to worry about. Would it be okay if I could um, maybe shed some light on this time of year. I know you might not want a solution right now, but it might make you feel a bit better to shift your mindset. Oh, just a smidge. <laughs> Good boy. Tell me about what you're feeling. Baby. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. When the holidays are over, it can feel really empty. So many things are happening, good and bad. Family and friends coming over, and crazy winter storms, and bright lights and music. So, when it's all over, it can leave a really big hole. All you can fill it with is your thoughts of the next three, four dreary months. But just like where we are now, we're still cuddled down with each other, we can still enjoy hot cocoa, and we can still watch movies, and kiss, and do other fun things. I understand that this time of year can be hard. It, it is hard, but there are still little things that you can do through this. I promise. And soon the birds will be back to singing, and you'll be back to dragging me on long nature walks out in the sun. Just picture it. Me and you on the beach. We'll go shopping for summer flowers and pick berries together. <laughs> a light at the end of this tunnel, and inside the tunnel, I, your magnificent and attractive and seductive and incredible girlfriend, <laughs> will light little candles along the way. <sighs> and I guess so will your friends and family, but mostly me. <laughs> I want to hold your candles, and your hand too. I'll light the candles and then hold your hand. In the hypothetical tunnel. <laughs> hey, I'm not good at analogies. Shh. Do you have Valentine's Day to look forward to? I'll make it really special this year. Yeah, real special. And there's still mm, those pretty snowstorms that get that get us all close and warm and personal. <laughs> Those are my favourite days. <laughs> oh, hey, okay, okay, I'll stop with the passive sexy talk. You get to look forward to gaming with your friends, and days getting longer, and the first thunderstorm of the year is always exciting. <sighs> the first day where you can feel that spring air peeking over the horizon. Hmm, what else? Ah, oh, yes, darling, you're so right, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, how could I forget? <laughs> you know I love all the mint stuff that comes out. Um, 
you could look forward to hearing a really funny joke or a really cool mm, I don't know a cool new game a good ASMR video that gives you really nice tingles a cute dog on the street and a nice tasty pastry <laughs> oh sweetie I'm sure you'll hear all the good songs and meet new friends there's so much life has to offer for all the bad that's out there there's so much good just waiting for you to see it to know it And if none of that happens, I'm right here. I love you, cutie. You make me so happy. So just... Just... Hold on and kick the next couple of months in the ass, okay? There's something I have to look forward to for sure. Every day. All day. Mwah. Kisses. Mwah. Always. My favorite. <laughs> How did I end up with someone so perfect? I mean, I must have been a saint in my past life. Your body, the way you smile, you laugh, and you cuddle into me. And get all wrapped up in warm and blankets with me. It's... It's like heaven. You're everything to me. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to live in, like, a constant state of euphoria. I'm so sorry you're hurt, love. It's not fair. You don't deserve it. I know you can do it. I know you can make it out on top. I know you can have a great year. And I'll be here every step of the way, baby. I'm cheering on you. Always. My perfect boyfriend. Look at me. Let me see your face. My favorite sight in the whole world. So excited to spend this year with you. I love you. I love you a million times over. Come on, cutie. Give me a kiss. <laughs>